What do you think we should do? I think we should go for the brave one. Lose the trait calm and gain brave. After all, you're going to have to be brave. All your half-brothers and sisters are mysteriously dying. Go for brave. Let's go for that then. I have been overwhelmed by stress. Well, we'll just carry on drinking, I think. My emotions become more unstable every day that passes. All-encompassing joy will replace the most profound sorrow from one moment to the next, and both my retinue and I grow wary. If only I could find... I'm sure that's supposed to say weary. I'm sure that's a typo. If only I could find a way to tame this whirlwind inside. Perhaps something new and shiny. I lose 27 stress. I can always leave my emotions behind by drinking. It's 47 stress. I think that's the best way. Drink! Drink and be merry. Right, so back to the murdering. My wife was ill, I had no idea. Right, let's hit pause, because things are running away on me. Um, she's not currently pregnant, is she? She's reclusive. What if I kill the husband, and then that leaves me... It still leaves me a few years to kill that daughter off. She's 10. Uh, Anya, you, are you, you're betrothed to the prince matrilineally. I, I, I understand. Yeah, it is. Good. Right, that's fine. What are the chances of murdering... I mean, that seems a bit much to murder Count Edward. But then, I, I think I have to. Mind you, he won't inherit that title. If she dies, it passes to... Oh my god, hang on, there must be something we can do with this character. Legitimize. There you go, legitimize bastard. Househead interaction. Declare Annie O'Fergal to be a legitimized bastard. You're not going to like this, I think. It's going to cost me some prestige, but that's fine. So, you are now definitely of House O'Fergal. And you are now the primary heir, and I don't need to murder anyone. It's sorted. There we go. Matthew, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing fine, thank you. I'm really enjoying Crusader Kings 3. It's really, really much more fun named, naming all the, the dynasty after you guys in chat. I am loving this. So I think we've got this fixed and the murdering spree can stop. Unless she has a son? I think it can go wrong if she has a son. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it still. There can't be much long. I mean, actually, Rock and Roll's mother was still having babies into her late 40s, so I might be wrong, but I don't think there'll be enough time. I don't. He wouldn't have been against killing your half-sister too. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we're fine there, though. We can go easy on the murdering. Hello! Okay, my daughter Piranaman has given birth to a son. We've got a son that last. Since the little one is part of the O'Fergal dynasty, she should be blessed with the name. Well, Pan, as you turned up, asking about children. Actually, is Pan still here or has Pan disappeared? Shout up if you're still in chat, because you're about to get somebody named after you, if you're still here. And if not, we shall find somebody else. It's not listed on my users list, but I know the Twix, you, uh, Twix, chocolate on the brain. The Twitch user list doesn't always update. So, I guess Pan's disappeared in that case then, or he's keeping quiet. In that case, I think we'll go with, as uh, as an actual boy's name has just turned up. I hope I'm right on this and I haven't just about to offend someone. Matthew, you are now my grandson in this game. <laughs> May you grow strong and wise. Right, okay. Oh God, there's another one. So, El Alonza, Shrek, <laughs> um, the daughter and heir of Baron Gimino of Sio has given birth to a daughter. Okay, well, this one's going to have to be Pan. It's going to have to be. How is Yot and Mike II doing? We'll have to go and have a look, actually, how my immediate family are doing. Actually, that's just in another name. We don't need to go to Pan just yet. We'll go for Frandingus. I'm using any name that pops up now. But welcome. Welcome to the family. 
And we can shorten that to Fran as well, which is actually a girl's name. So it actually fits. One of the very few character names that fits. God bless you all, chaps. <laughs> I say that as a Catholic Irish ru ruler, not as, not as Mark Diacol. Oh my God, there's more kids. Okay, we've got a son this time. This one's going to have to be Pan. Uh, was this the genuine one? This is a genuine, legitimate child. So actually, Pan is going to inherit something. Possibly. Right, no more children. We need to stop this. This is getting ridiculous. Um, I can give titles out to... Right, so if I built a city, I can't hold that myself. But I think I can give it to someone, some minor family member who's not important. And then it'll keep that holding in the dynasty. I think, I'm not sure. It's not like a landed title, but it might be possible. Yeah, Jbot, Jbot definitely did it right. If we have a look at the family tree now, this is getting, this is going to get confusing. Um, open the dynasty tree. There we go, Petty King Seamus, who was busy. Actually, I only had six kids. For some reason, I thought I had a lot more. Poor old rock and roll. Had three, but they're from a different house. So that's okay. But the Anu, that's the important one. Who is of my blood, because it's from a daughter, even though her father wasn't married <laughs> to her. That doesn't matter. Um, she's going to inherit. That's good. We've got a dynasty line set up there. These lot don't have anything set up at all yet, so... But the titles will be spread along these kids. I have whatever titles my count has when he dies. I think it's equally spread out. So I don't know what's going to happen. Unless I... If I pass one on. What if I pass one on to my... Right. What if I give up being the Duke of somewhere. Pass it to my eldest son. Who gets that title. That's his. He'll be out of my control. But then... As if I play as him afterwards... He will still inherit a share of my other titles. Oh god, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself there. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna see what happens. Check my succession line. Um how do we check that exactly? I mean it does say there that it's gonna be Jotun Mike, so we know who's coming on next, but will it say in the realm? If I click on this in succession here. So this is I'll play as my heir, right? I, that's fine. But we lose three titles. We lose the Petty Kingdom of Leinster, the Earldom of Ossery, and the Earldom of Leinster. What if I just give him all those titles? Shall we try that? I think I should give him the... Uh, who, who gets this? He goes to Russia if... And then we're going to have civil wars and stuff. I'm going to hand that. I'm going to see what this does. So he'd be second in line to this anyway. I don't want to start killing off my own bloody people. That would be a, a disaster. So what happens if I make him... Grant titles. I could grant him. Oh, okay. So there's only certain ones I can give him anyway. I can't give him all of them. Like, I can't just give him the Kingdom of Leinster. You can't give him something he doesn't stand to inherit. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, this is going to be awkward. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Unless we can somehow change the situation. So I could go fabricating claims. Powerful vassals. Negotiate alliances. Alright, let's forget all that. Uh, we're probably in a position where we can think about... ...going to war with somebody else. I, I need this guy to die. Hmm. He's got a lot of kids. Then again, when he does that, well, this might work to our advantage. When he finally dies, his land is going to be split up between all these, and whether they, whether they ally with each other or not, it's a different matter. 
my culture fascination, as in, I've got a wealth, uh, a lifestyle focus, as in wealth. Do you know what? Where's the culture one? Have I actually set fascination on this? Irish innovations. Fascination battlements. Um, okay. Can we actually change this? I guess... I don't know. Hey, Halloween. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. I've got a decent number of hours in Crusader Kings 2, but this is my first playthrough of this. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. Once you have hereditary rule researched... Uh, is that... There it is. Oh, I see it's not far off, actually. Can enact the partition law. Expect to be discovered in about two years. Right. I'd need to survive for two years, and then we can really simplify this. Which gives me the opportunity to actually go and invade somewhere and cause a, cause a war, doesn't it? I can go and grab some more territory. Hmm. They're duchies, but the actual realm. I don't want to start a fight with this guy. What's his, what's his military strength? You know, it's not as big as it as I thought. That's not too bad. I can maybe manage that. It would be a bit of a bold move. It is good fun, isn't it? Okay, let's go for large. That's going to come just at the right time. Yeah. Large levies. Which puts my military situation... 2,662. So, I would outnumber him. Should I raise another regiment? I can have up to five. I don't have much in the way of horsemen at all. It's going to... It's going to cost me some money. Let's go light horse. Light horse. Mm, yeah, go on then. Why not? Create. I just saw a seriously big army go marching around up there. Uh, is that some war kicked off up there? Oh, God. <laughs> Which war is this? I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the war against the tyranny of Prince Anquetil of where? Prince Anquetil of England? Who the hell is this? That is Prince Anquetil of England. His allies, they all look the same. Hang on, who the hell am I joining here? Signed... Pr I'm confused now. I'm really, really confused now. I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the war against the tyranny of Prince Anquetil. That this is Prince Anquetil. So what war? He's even signed the letter himself. And he's... Um, I guess I'd be... I don't know who I'm going to war with, though. This is the problem. That's my grandson. So I would join war against the... Right, so I'd join as... Oh, I am massively confused. It's a defence war raised by his enemies against your grandson. Is that what it is? Right, thank you, folks. They're attacking him because he's a tyrant. So on decline, I would lose a load of fame. Well, he's got to be quite powerful. He's got to be more powerful than this guy, surely. Surprisingly not, actually. Go on, I'm going to accept that. Let's see what happens. Right then. Light the beacons. We are going to war. Hang on, let me slow this, this thing down a bit. Military. Um, yeah, raise. Raise the lot. Let's send everything in. Let's get this done fast. It's going to be expensive, isn't it? So, we might gain some land. Who the hell? 
Is there more than I think in this? He's got 4,000 sodding men. All right, so he must have had a load of vassals or something joining that. Uh, yeah, this might not go as expected. Let's get over. They can't be. Hang on. This looks incredibly dangerous. The only people I can know for sure are on my side. Is that blue army there? All this lot. Are these enemies? Oh, hang on. What's this? That's a neutral army. So what's... Point these out. That's an enemy army with 3,700. That's a hostile army. Shit. Do you know what? I might just sit and watch this and see what happens. Because, um... There seems to be an awful lot more people involved than I imagined. Duke Adam of Essex. Yeah, okay. Their military strength is inferior to ours. I don't think so. Not with that many. Okay, help me out here, chat. How many of these armies on here are going to be... Um, they're going to kill me if I move over there. Because I can see stuff going on. But is this is this another war that's taking place? Click on that. It's a... Just conquer one barony for your grandson and disband your army. Where have I sent the army to anyway? Did it get across? Where the hell did I send it? Oh, it's there still. It's not gone. Right. Uh, move into Lancashire. The orange ones won't attack unless you move into them usually. This is my first time getting into a, like a, a mixed up sort of war over here. So I want to be careful where I go. But I guess we want to go and... I need to avoid that big army because that's going to be trouble. I guess I just need to keep marching away from it. You have died. <laughs> that's the end of that then. Right. I will continue playing as King Jotun Mike, your son. Yes, I will. So this... This... Opens up. What killed me actually? Does it say what I died of? You joined a war. Um, did it say what I died of? I didn't even see. Yeah, I just saw a thing saying you have died. But I mean, I, I think I clicked away too fast. Uh, let's see. Let's let's ask for some money, please, Popey. Um, I'm in line to inherit titles. Right. This is now going to turn into a very confusing mess because what have I actually inherited? I have this. What are my armies? My armies have shrunk. Um, and they're now over there. I've joined a war, which I kind of want to get out of. Well, let's go in. I still have this army intact. We probably need to set up a council, do we? Yeah, let's have a chancellor. Who have we got? Nice! This mayor is excellent at chancellery. He's about to die, though. <laughs> 78 years old. I don't think he's long for this, uh, this world, is he? Well, anyway, that will... That will appease him nicely. I've got a good steward. I don't have a spy master at the moment. Morris, your knight. Knight Morris. Oh, I could, uh, my sister. I could assign my sister, uh, who does at least like me. That'll do. Excellent. It's disrupting schemes. Yes, we better have a bit of that on. So what have we, what have we actually lost there? We've got this title. That's, that's excellent. It's gonna, this is going to take some um, 
figuring out what to do next. Petty Kingdom of Meath. He does have claims to all these other things, so we can, if we had to, go to war to get them back. Go to the dynasty line? Cool, let's have a look at that then. Oh. Hand to dynasty head? Does that not show... That's surprising. Hmm. I didn't expect that. So if I come out of that, close that down. That's the dynasty. Does it? Is there another thing I can see on that? Click on plus sign at the top of his head. As in... Where are we looking? Where are we in? Go back to there. Oh, I think I know what you mean. On here. Got it. Thanks. Let's see. Your father. I was balanced. Really? There. What's that? Drank himself to death. That's what we were looking for. Drank himself to death on the 14th of November at age 67. That guy achieved quite a lot. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> That's the way to go, though. I mean, he was kind of stressed. We, we were leading that way. So now I have a very different dynasty indeed. My God, my wife. What a, what a jaw. So my current heir is Nicodemus. Okay. So that's quite good. Do we have a focus, an education focus? I'm going to put you into stewardship. Or I could go marshal. I'll go stewardship. Stewardship's good. Help rule the realm. Bring in cash. Let's choose that focus. And improve. And we need to get you a spouse. How old are you? 12. Ooh, should I should have you married off, I think. Let's... Well, should we wait and see what happens over here first? Remind me to take a look at that chat. I think we might get giant babies. That would be quite funny. They were... They were actually, it was suggested because of her various conditions that she might not be able to have babies, but it was fine. Greetings, Petty King Jotun Mike of Meath. I've considered your plight and decided to grant your request. Oh, right, this is, this is the Pope sending me money. Um, if I need to recruit mercenaries, now is the time. I need to get involved in this fight quick, because I, I can do this. Come on. We can defeat... Well, I don't need, I don't need to hit that guy. I can defeat the weaker ones. Let that big guy run off, actually. I don't know where he's going. Child of my dynasty, my sister Jaybot has given birth to a son. Okay, who have we got in chat now? Right, let's see. Who's it going to be? This one. This is a son. This is a good one. It is... Fast Cat Dan. Welcome to the family. <laughs> We could go with Dan, but I'm going to go with the full things. I think that sounds pretty good. Fast cat. Dan. Future leader, perhaps. <laughs> All my kids are pumping them out. I'm going to get caught by this massive army in a minute if I'm not careful. Thanks for the follow as well, by the way. Um, there is little point in me getting killed here by such a big army. Philippas, thank you for the follow. I need to get out of here, I think. If I can go to a defence... Let's go back to Lancashire. Those guys are just following me, aren't they? I have to hope I can escape. 5,000. they turned away? They have. Okay. Oh, no lifestyle chosen? Um... Because of your stewardship education, I could go steward again, which I really liked. Intrigue, my marshal might be good. I'm going to go, ma how old are you? Can we see? Hmm. I could go marshal. It could do with improving. I've got massive stewardship though, so I wonder if that's going to bring, bring some good advantages. I don't know whether it matters. But I gained 40 more. Yeah, come on. I've got the advantage in this. 
Or do I start off with some? Oh, nice. I didn't expect this. Well, that's cool. That is cool. If we get the soldiers killed, I won't have to pay them. <laughs> well, it does have its advantages. Right, so... Do we get to see the military strength? Yeah, I'm the only one on this side. He has 2,000 men, but... Well, I won't lose. Is it still saying I haven't chosen a light? I chose that, didn't I? I don't have to pick anything else. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, I should be picking on this. Uh, duty focus. The bonds of loyalty that bind us do not constrict. Stewardship. Enemy agent acceptance. Courtier and guest opinion. That could be quite good. My land and the people under my care are my strength for extra stewardship, which is already quite high. Focusing on wealth gains extra monthly income. I might go with this for the opinions. Let's give this a try. All right, so that's selected now. I don't see any advantage to continuing this fight unless I can... See, they're going around as a massive group. If I could pick them off in small groups. My brother, Petty King Rushriff, created the cadet branch of the Fergal... Oh, Fergal Maydog. What is this? Dynasty. Oh, thank you. Is that showing up under messages? Let's bring them back. So, was it this guy? Right, okay. He's created the cadet branch. Who would inherit if all his children died, do you think? Hmm. Can I see who the line of succession is? So it's, well, it's not me. Yeah, it's not, it's not Jotun Mike. It's some of the other, I'd have to kill all the brothers and sisters. I think it's going to be hard work. All right, let's get the army home anyway. Do I have any alliances? I'm just in a war at the moment. I'm going to have to arrange some. We'll get out of the war first. Can I just click on this and say, surrender? Your war contribution is nothing. I'm going to try and stay out of it. I don't fancy getting trashed. Ally Earl Robert of Wiltshire joined the war. Okay. Does that... He's already imprisoned. Well, that might just change things. Okay, boys. Uh, land at Bristol. I just need to make sure I get involved in the right fights down here. I mean, there's, I don't think there's any big advantage for getting involved and then getting my army kicked out, kicked out is there? A big disadvantage, sorry. I think I'll be all right. It's like a bit of a slaughter. Oh, no, I'm going to arrive too late. Or am I? It's close. Go on, then. I'm going to go marching straight into Wiltshire and save the day. <laughs> At the last minute. And, oh, it's going to be close. He's got 50 men left. Ah, ha, ha, I got there just in time. Well done, lad. Well done. There's 3,000 next door, though. Nope, come on. Come on, I'm going to get involved in that. There's a big fight kicking off here. 